Hey everyone, and welcome to another quick Kajabi tutorial. My name is Rebecca Austin, and here we talk about all things Kajabi, marketing, and growing your online business. Now, one of the biggest questions that I get, whether it's from clients or from social media or from comments, is how do I improve my organic reach? And that namely is search engine optimization or SEO strategies. So that's one of the things that we are going to talk about today. Now, it's a kind of a broad topic, and there's several aspects to your SEO um, strategies and the way that you approach SEO in Kajabi. So we're actually breaking this down into a four part video series. This video, we're gonna talk about the specifics of SEO inside Kajabi. And then part two, we're gonna break it down into your sitemap and your site index and how to maximize that with Google. Part three, we are going to talk about the technical side of SEO, including things like page speed and user experience. And then part four will be things like off-page SEO on your backlinks and strategies for that as well. So this video though, we want to do, before we can go into the other parts of SEO strategies that I'll be talking about in the subsequent parts, we really need to first go into our Kajabi site and make sure that that we have maximized our on-page SEO strategies. So that's what I want to talk about in this video. Now, before that I jump into the specifics of um, the on-page strategies in Kajabi, I do want to take just a moment to talk about SEO in general. What is SEO? SEO is search engine optimization, and it is part of our organic traffic generating uh, strategies on getting people to your site. Because remember when we're talking about marketing, it really boils down to traffic leads conversions. And in order to get conversions or new clients, we definitely need to have traffic that first comes to our site. And then we have other strategies in place for um, converting the, that traffic into a lead or, um, or a paying customer. So first of all, how do we get traffic to our site? And one of those is through organic search. So if somebody is looking for an answer to a question that you have the answer for, you wanna make sure that you are the one that the search engines see as having relevance and authority in your niche and that you have enough um, clout and relevance and authority that they want to be able to send their, their audience to your site as one of the suggested sites. So we want to improve our ranking by improving our relevance and authority, by improving um, the, the way that we're ranked with search engines. So that's what we want to do through what we're gonna talk about today and our subsequent sections. So we're going to talk about, first of all, our on-page SEO strategies, because that's one of the things that the search engines are gonna look at is, of course, consistency, and then whether or not they can even, the search engines can even find you. Because if search engines can't find you, then how, of course, are they going to refer um, anyone who is searching for your topic? All right, so let's dive into my Kajabi site and um, I'll walk you through the various aspects of setting up your on-page um, SEO um, strategies. Because when we break SEO down, it usually is boiled down into three main categories. It's your on-page SEO, your off-page SEO, and your technical SEO, which um, we're going to dive into in all the parts of this series. This one is the on-page SEO. So when we talk about on-page, what exactly does that mean? That is that we have strategically put in um, various elements so that the search engines can first of all um, know how to index you, how to, to be keyword rich so that you, um, when someone's looking for your topic or your niche, that they're going to be able to find you through the search engines. So step number one is your um, website SEO. So we want to make sure that we go in and set up your SEO settings for the, your website. So the way we do that is of course from your Kajabi menu, you're going to go down here to the bottom where it says settings and we're gonna then go to site details. And um, under site details, which it's taking just a minute to load, sorry about that, we're going to scroll down to where it says SEO and sharing 
And this is where we want to enter our page title, our page description, and a page image. Now there's two sides, of course, to the settings in Kajabi itself. One of them is that we're setting this up for search engine optimization. The other one that we're setting it up for is social networking and social sharing. So if someone, for example, sh um, shares my website, striveforsavvy.com, on a Facebook or Twitter or Instagram or social media, you know how they have that, that preview that pops up. We wanna have a, a very strategic preview that encourages people to click on our site. So not only is it is it strategic in, um, in, in the preview, but it's also strategic in the words that we're using so that it is pulling for search engines to understand what it is that we do, uh, what our keywords are, and how to best index this for, um, for the search engine. So of course your page title, can it, it can have your, um, your business name, but it, it, um, it says here clear title Title without branding or mentioning the domain itself so you can't use your domain in the title so in mine of course I use we make Kajabi effortless because that's my specific tagline and that is something that not only will help with search engines but also helps with our um, social media strategies and then your description we want to be as keyword rich in the description as possible between 150 to 160 characters so you notice on mine I have 152 characters and then we talk about things like Kajabi Kajabi coaching marketing strategic planning design launching all those kind of things are keyword rich so you want to think about what can you put here that's really going to benefit um, both search engines and social media in this particular um, category for your website as a whole. So that's the first one. The, the second one is going to be your pages. So if we go to website and then pages, every single page that you create, we want to be able to um, also include our SEO on that particular page. Now this is um, on all pages, whether it's a, um, regardless of what theme it is, you have the ability to add your page settings. So for example, if I go into this page for my testimonials and examples, which is part of my website pages. Now these can be your website pages, it can be your, um, your funnel pages or your pipeline pages, any of those that are potentially going to be indexed. Now I, you don't necessarily need to do this on any pages that are being hidden from search engines that you're not going to be posting and sharing. So for example, a delivery page or a welcome page or a thank you page um, or you know a video series page where they have to opt in to see those pages first. Those pages you don't necessarily need to add that um, SEO and sharing. And we get to that down here under details for the page and we scroll down to the SEO and sharing. Um, now this particular page is hidden from search engines. But um, I may want to, because it's my testimonials page, unselect this hide from search engines and then create a specific page title description and a page image that goes along with this particular page. Uh, but this is where you find it is under the page details themselves um, for, the, for every individual page that you create for your site. Um, okay, so that is number two of your SEO settings in Kajawi. We wanna make sure that we are adding this to any page that is visible to search engines or that you want to be indexed um, on your site. The third one is your blog. Now we do want to make sure that under the settings for your blog, that we have also done our um, title, description, and image. One little caveat on this is that you do want to make sure that your site title um, and description and your blog title and description are different. They cannot be the same. Um, it's just one of those things that just must be different. So you just want to make sure that you have something slightly different. So on our my, my site, I had We Make Kajabi Effortless. On the blog, I have titled it All Things Kajabi and Marketing. That way then it kind of helps with differentiating on the indexing. 
The fourth place that is also important is when we go into the blog post. So if you're doing a blog through Kajabi, which of course is highly recommended because blogging itself is a huge part of search engine optimization strategy. It's your content marketing strategy. And um, we can talk about this. Maybe I'll make this part five. So maybe we'll make this a five part video where we talk about blog strategies for search engine optimization. So what we wanna do on that is you want to in also include in a blog title the SEO settings. Um, so um, here's the, the one that's actually in draft right now for this particular video. Um, scroll down to the bottom. I haven't actually set this up yet because I'm still writing it. At the time that you're watching this video, of course, it will be set up. But inside the blog settings itself, we scroll down and we wanna set up our title, description, and the the image um, for the, the blog post. So we have our site, we have our pages, we have our blog itself and our blog articles, our specific blogs themselves, all will have then strategically worded with keyword rich that are pertaining specifically to that particular page. Now your site and your blog can be a little bit more general. Your pages and your blog articles, we wanna be as specific as possible, and we wanna have a title that kinda of captures the interest, but also is something that includes the main keywords. So in this particular cat category for this blog itself, a main keyword, of course, is going to be search engine optimization or SEO strategies or SEO maximization or optimization. So those might be some things, Kajabi SEO. I've looked at what are some of the things people are Googling um, it, and it's SEO is a pretty high one, SEO and Kajabi, SEO, Kajabi and SEO, how to do SEO in Kajabi. Those are all keywords that people are searching for in Google. So that's what you want to focus on on your blog articles. And we'll talk more about that in part five. Uh, so what we're going to do then is add our title that is, is keyword rich. We're going to add our description that also is keyword or key phrase rich that will optimize then search engines finding this and putting this at the top of the list um, based off of my ranking or um, how credible and how much I've built my particular site and my blog and all of that from the search engines algorithms. So it's it's a matter of, of being setting this up first and then being consistent as we go. So this is number four. Um, so we have our site, our page, our blog, our blog post. There's two other places that we wanna talk about and that is also in our marketing and then we go to our pipelines um, we also want to include the SEO in our pipelines. Now, one thing to consider with pipelines is that pipelines are technically pages. So if you've set up a pipeline off of a pipeline template, then you do for sure want to go in and add those SEO settings to your pipeline, especially the first page of the pipeline. Because remember, a lot of times the other pages in a pipeline may be um, hidden from search engines. They're not necessarily pages that we want SEO to be indexing because you don't want them to be sending someone to your thank you page. We want them to be sent to the first page of the pipeline. So if you're using a template, it's not already, already in there. If you're setting up your pipeline by individual pages and you've already added that as part of creating the page and then you add the page to the pipeline, you can skip this step because you've already done it. But if you haven't, then you would go into the pipeline. We would go to the, the little three dots on the side and we go to edit details. So we can edit details on that particular page. And then you will see where this one, I've actually already done this because I make it a habit of every time I create a new page, I go in and I edit the details. Um, I double check what URL I want it to be. Um, and then I set up my SEO and sharing. So that's a really great tip for you is to just make sure that you're always just making it a part of your habit that when you create a new page, if it's a page that is a public facing page that you want traffic to be sent to, then you will make sure you add the SEO and sharing settings right away. So that's one of the things that in a pipeline, if you haven't already done this, then you can go in here as well, 
add your SEO and sharing settings for that particular pipeline because of course the rest of this pipeline is behind the scenes. This is after they've seen this first page. So I don't need to do SEO and sharing for these other pages, but I do on the first page because this is an important page to drive traffic through either through paid traffic or other marketing re uh, resources and strategies, but especially then to our organic and search engine um, strategies. All right, the last one that we wanna make sure that we consider, which I guess I'll go back into this particular page, is the images. So part of, and this is an often overlooked part, is if we go into an image on a page, we want to make sure that we go into our image all attribute. Now this is only on Encore pages or some of the more recent pages that you've used um, or if you built a page from the Encore slash um, uh, template pages that have been released. If you're on a premiere page, then this is a little bit different, but if you're on Encore pages, then we, they've added the image alt attribute, where it's right here in the settings, so it's real easy for us to add some keyword rich description of this particular image. Now the image alt attribute was originally designed for the um, visually impaired so when they're using software to read the website to them if there's an image they're going to read off what the image alt attribute is to allow that person to understand what the images are on the page but at the same time these are fantastic ways to add your keywords and your seo um, rich type of content in to further add um, meta tags and and um, and tags into your page for those keywords that SEOs are looking for. So this is one of the things that is on my list for this page is to go back and add the image alt attributes for each one of the images that are in here to help with this particular process on this particular page. So those are the six main areas that you wanna go through and make sure that you have them set up for your site, that you have the site set up, the blog set up, you have your pages that are any forward facing traffic, um, sending traffic to those pages um, that are, are added the SEO and sharing settings. We wanna do our blog posts that have the SEO and sharing uh, strategically put into those as well. Then we make sure that our pipelines, that those pages have the SEO and sharing added, and then any of your Encore pages that we've also included the image alt attributes. Okay, so those are the key areas. That's your assignment to go back into your Kajabi site and make sure that you have all of those elements, those six areas that I've talked about, that you've updated those for SEO maximization and for keyword strategically that you've added what it is that you need to say that it will, will drive curiosity or drive traffic or help index you on ranking for your niche and the keywords that people are searching for specifically for you. Uh, so that's your assignment. I want you to go into your site. I want you to double check these and put those in there because before I can go on to part two, you need this part done. So the next video, I'm gonna go into the next step of maximizing your Kajabi site for SEO, which is going to be um, setting up your site map on your Google console and how what that is and how to set it up and how to know what to do with your site map. This is an important part that is often overlooked when you're first getting started, but it, how is the, uh, is Google going to even uh, know that you're there unless you, you index it? So that's what we're gonna talk about on our next video, so be sure to stay tuned. And then in parts three, four, and five, we'll go into the other aspects of your search engine uh, optimization for your Kajabi site. So thank you so much for watching. If you are going to put this into your website or implement this um, as part of your assignment, be sure to let me know in the comment sections or if you have any questions about what I talked about today. And if you're also interested in learning more about uh, our services, our coaching services, our done for you services, and also some uh, really great online resources and free stuff that we have, just be sure to go to my website at Strive for savvy.com. We'll see you on the next video where we're talking about Google console and your sitemap. We'll see you then.